Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fly a boat in Minecraft. As you can see right now I'm flying in a boat. This is an exploit or a bug that you can do in vanilla Minecraft both on single player and multiplayer. So this was discovered by Reddit user Lonely Mac. All credit goes to him for his discovery. There is a link in the description box to his Reddit account. I would highly recommend you check him out because he shares tons of cool stuff that he discovers with the community. So all credit goes to him. And in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to fly the boat. So we're going to start off by placing a lily pad down on the water. Then if you go underneath that, you can place a fence post on its hitbox. So you have a fence post here in the water. Then you want to put ice above that and place a block above it and then put blocks all around that block. Then remove the original block above the ice, so it looks like this. And then put a half slab to one side and put sand on top of it. And then what you need to do next is pillar up sand as high as you want to go. You could go all the way to the ceiling of the map or you could go up 100 blocks. Whatever you want to do, that's as far as you'll be able to take your boat to. So when you finish pillaring up, what you want to do is place a block on top and around it on three sides. The side where you don't have a block, that needs to be above where the ice is, so when you place water on top of it, it's going to flow down to the lowest point. So once you've done that, you can remove the blocks around it on the other sides. Then when we go down to the bottom, what we need to do is remove a sand block from the pillar that we have here. Then all the other blocks are going to fall down onto the half slab like this. And then it's going to take a while, all that sand is going to fall down and the water needs to make its way down to the bottom. So when the water's made its way to the bottom you can pick up your sand and you can break this half slab and then you want to put a torch on each of these blocks like this so that you can melt the ice with the light from the torch. Now that might take a while but when the ice has turned into water you can then remove those blocks. So the next thing that we want to do is build a little platform away from this. So we're going to place down a lily pad on the water about five or six blocks away and then underneath that place a block and then extend that back by five or six blocks so you've got a nice platform like this to work on. Then what you want to do is place a block at the front and this next bit I'm going to explain in more detail in a moment but the basic idea is you place down a boat and then you push the boat into the block in front of you and if it glitches into that block you then sit in the boat and then you break the block and you move out onto the water like this and this is the boat glitched and you have to try and get into the water stream. So it might take a little bit of time, but once you get into the water stream and you start rising up it, you'll be able to tell if your boat is glitched correctly or not by looking at how you're moving up. So don't focus on the water stream itself. Have a look at what's going on around here because you can see that we're actually moving up a little bit and then it stops and then we move up a little bit more and it stops again. So if it does that, that means you're glitching up the water stream correctly. So when you reach the top or however high it is you want to go, just hold down forward and you'll start flying like this. Now one thing to keep in mind, your boat is actually on the water. It's the client that thinks it's up in the air and the game thinks it's down on the water. So one thing you can't do is fly directly above land. So if you look at where I'm flying here, I'm actually going on the water and not going above the landmass. Because if you were to do that, the boat is actually down there on the water and it would break and then you would fall out of the sky. Uh, but that is pretty much it, that's how it's done. I'm going to explain it in a little more detail because the tutorial is very quick and straightforward and actually it takes a little bit of time to figure out how to do this so I'm going to try and explain it in more detail. So everything in the tutorial is pretty straightforward with the exception of getting the boat to glitch into the block. That can actually be a bit of a pain and it takes some persistence to get it to happen so don't expect this to happen the first or second time. You'll probably find it's going to take you five or six attempts before you get this to work, but come two blocks away from where that block is, place down your boat and then push it into the block in front of you, and then that looked like it was going to glitch, but I can see now it didn't. So you'll see the front of the boat will actually go into the block if it does this, and when it does that you want to right click on the boat. So that one didn't do it, and you can see here my screen's getting a bit shaky as well. That one's done it, and then we want to remove the block in front of us, which you can do in survival mode with a pick, and so now the boat is technically glitched, what we need to do is come into this water stream and start flying up. Now this isn't going to work straight away, what you need to do is come up the water stream and then fly off at a certain point and hold down forward. You can see here that I'm pretty much falling down really quick. Now the reason that that's happening is because the boat is still technically on the stone bricks over there. Um, the game thinks the boat's here and I think or the client thinks that I'm over here and so they're kind of in a disagreement. Now if we keep going up this water stream and flying off eventually the boat will come unstuck and it won't actually be on the stone platform. Now one thing to realize with that is the whole time that we're in this boat 
our actual boat is still down there on the ground so when we do get this to fly the boat is going to be somewhere down on the water and it's not going to be directly underneath where the boat is so it could be off by a few blocks usually it's a few blocks behind you in the direction of the stone platform um, so that is something to keep in mind but anyway keep keep swimming up the stream like this and then flying off and holding down forward and eventually you'll be able to tell when it's worked okay so there is now a particle effect around me that lets me know that this worked it does take some time but as soon as you see that particle effect it means your boat is now actually in the water and that's when you can start flying so once you've done that you want to head back over to the stream and then just swim up it all the way up to the top and then you can use the flying boat trick so we're not at the top yet but we are fairly high up and what I'm going to do now is fly off and demonstrate to you this working again but I'm going to fly over here towards the land so what should happen is when we reach the land and we're directly above it let's press F5 to see that I'm going to hit the ground somewhere below me and then I'm going to fall off there you go so our boat was actually you know down there in the water so it was about I'd say about five or six blocks away from where we actually were so if you're thinking of doing this in survival Minecraft then I would recommend practicing it in creative mode first of all because it does take a little bit of getting used to glitching that boat into the block and it'll save you a lot of time and effort if you do some practice in creative mode first of all but that is it for this tutorial if you want to like the video you know it is greatly appreciated and if you want to watch some more of my videos there are links on the screen and in the description box so as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time